Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Um, sorry it's been so long. I was kind of procrastinating putting out a video thinking, hey, I'd like to really uh, tell you something is going on, something's happening. We're getting some stuff done, which all is kind of true. But at the same time, uh, more holding patterns. And so uh, that's why I haven't done a video for a while. I have been working vigorously to get stuff done and uh, prep and get ready. But um, we're still somewhat in a holding pattern. Um, let's see. I had to bring Oso with me because he's, mommy's not home right now. And so he's wondering what we're doing. What are we doing? So let's give you an update on what's happening. Um, so skirting's on. Porches are built. Gutters are on. Downspouts are in. Uh, we had the PUD out yesterday, a brand new pole. A utility pole and they turned us on yesterday. So we have power to the house and uh, it's a long story, but basically my electrician went to bat for me uh, when I proposed to him putting in a main service. In other words, a service, excuse me, a service that has a main on it. Uh, the PUD has been going around and paying for that service for a lot of residents uh, when the meter comes off of their utility poles and so he went to bat for me and convinced the PUD to pay for the service which would have been about four grand if I would have uh, followed through with my bid with my electrician but uh, he went to bat for me and uh, the PUD is paying for that so pretty sweet stuff So new service and new pole, a security light up there, yay. So we're closer to getting rid of this, uh, what has basically been the pump house storage shed. And my ditches behind us have uh, been the water line, which I just turned on today. And I still have uh, some more excavation and that good stuff to uh, clean up back here. The truck and trailer went out today and I picked up a couple yards of sand to put over the water line. So that's what's in the truck today and or trailer I should say. So probably tomorrow morning I'll dump this and start putting it over the water line to protect it and under it and whatnot and then uh, we'll cover that up the uh, pud also left me the utility pole which i asked them if they would do so they were kind enough to leave me that it'll make a good gate post or some fence post or whatnot so that i need to move down below into my boneyard of materials i still need to backfill uh, more of the trench and water line and see what else do I have to do? Hook up the rest of the appliances.
and we're waiting to get back on the schedule with the manufactured home people to have the finishers come out. So that's kind of the holding pattern we're in at the moment. You can see this uh, concrete block that I poured right here. So that's where the electrical comes into the house. The inspector did not like that. He was going to ask that the electrician redo that, but the wire was already run. So I suggested pouring concrete over it. He said that would be fine. So that's what I did. So that's what that's for. This will all be backfilled behind me. I'm going to fill that up. I think they said six inches within the vent was acceptable. So I'll be doing that. And uh, the back porch is on. So we're making progress. That's actually going to be the view, side view, out of the kitchen. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Michelle and I butchered uh, two of the Cornish Cross a couple days ago. And then uh, we butchered six more this morning. So uh, they're in the cooler right now and uh, soon to be in the freezer. And it's kind of cool, my neighbor Charlie invited me to come over to his place and walk through. They were butchering, I think, 100 chickens. And so I'd never done it before, so I got the opportunity to get some first-hand, hands-on type training before I did it myself. So that was really helpful. And my other YouTube buddy, the Kelly's, Kelly's Country, life video youtube video uh, channel uh, you should check him out he also has an outdoors channel which is pretty cool but anyway he was giving me uh some flack for not getting on and giving updates about what's going on so he prompted me to do that uh, we have come up here a few times and had some adult beverages and reminisced about getting closer on uh, moving in and uh, now that we have hot running water and electricity there might be some showering and some laundry and some camping being done in here hypothetically not officially uh, but uh, I'm hoping that mommy made her last trip to the laundromat and maybe even her last RV shower but we'll see anyway that's the update and uh, thank you for riding along and we will keep you posted. Uh, hopefully we'll get back on the uh, schedule to get the, the finishers out next week and get some stuff done. But uh, it's been going pretty well. Uh, when I dug the dishes in the back, I hit the water line twice. So I just ran an, an, entire, an entirely new water line. And once the pump house the old pump house is, is tore out. I'll continue the new water line all the way out to the well. So we'll have fresh water. Um, short little story that uh, me hitting the water line and having my contractor just cut it off and then running a new one was actually a blessing because when he cut off the pigtail that went into the went under the house of the old water line, I found a uh, six inch rusted bolt inside the pipe and uh, with a washer on it and it clearly was adversely affecting the flow of the water and the water pressure so I probably would have never ever found that bolt had I not hit the water line and had to cut it out and start over so that turned out to be a blessing uh, the delay in getting electrical and delay of getting the home delivered ended up pushing out our electrical, which ultimately ended up uh, having the PUD offer to pay for our service. So that ended up being a big, huge blessing. So although we've had some delays, um, they've actually come with purpose. And so we're pretty happy about that and we're looking forward to getting in. Um, Michelle's pulled all the novel books that come with appliances now and has been checking those out and getting ready to use her new appliances 
and uh, we were in there today unwrapping stuff and plugging things in and testing water lines and testing faucets and whatnot getting everything turned on we did find one uh, leak actually two one of the toilets uh, has a leak in the tank the, the filler is not shutting off and the pot filler is leaking so a couple things we found that need to be fixed or added to the list of things that uh, need to get done so anyway thanks for stopping by and I appreciate all the support and the interest in what we're doing and uh, like I said I kind of dropped the ball a little bit and getting you updated because I've been waiting for something significant to happen, but there's just been a lot of little things happening. So uh, we're getting things done and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care and thanks for watching. Let's say goodbye, Oso. Say goodbye, Oso. Say goodbye, Oso.